So today is finally the day I'm recording this video on March 17th of 2024. Today is the day that the very first CS2 major will officially be kicking off. But of course, that doesn't mean there still isn't a ton to talk about. If anything, there's more than ever to talk about. And we still have so many unanswered questions. There's still so much drama and controversy coming uh, around and swirling around even right as the major is set to kick off like as I'm recording this the major literally starts in less than two hours This is absolutely insane but We still have so much to talk about in this video today including the nine panda situation What's going on with the gamer legion? What's going on with the stickers the capsules? So much craziness and we're gonna get into all of that and much more in this video today But of course first I just want to mention real quick if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items and turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method You guys might be looking for definitely hit me up over on Twitter. Uh, it's going to be the first link in the description below. I'm uh, pretty much buying anything and everything for between 85 and 90% buff. I can help you guys get an instant, easy, quick, efficient, safe cash out. Uh, and of course, by selling to me, you're helping support me and my channel and my content as well. Um, so I would appreciate that a ton. Um, with that being said, let's get right into this. So again, the community is really uh, feeling bad for nine pandas right now. They're reaching out uh, and, and showing a ton of support in a bunch of different ways. Um, this guy, Vince Metas, I don't really know who this is, commentator, but I just saw this tweet. Uh, he said, huge amounts of sadness for nine pandas. They worked their asses off, battled through the last chance qualifier with no room for error, secured a life-changing victory only to have it taken away can't imagine the motions devastating and this really does seem to be uh, the common sentiment in the community right now is that people are just really really sad for nine pandas because obviously visa issues are keeping them from this major that they earned that they deserved they deserve the chance to you know compete at the highest level at this major but you know at the end of the day hey they probably weren't going to win a major title or anything like that but also at the end of the day they're players who worked really hard for a goal achieved this uh, and not only that the fact that they should be able to compete at this tournament and gain you know a life experience and just experience in counter-strike in general which might help them or their org or their players or whatever down the line um, also the fact that they secured um, you know stickers which not only get you a team sticker and an autograph sticker in the game and kind of uh, immortalize you in counter-strike history but also you make a boatload of cash um, as an organization and as a player from these stickers as well and they're missing out on all of that and that is definitely truly devastating like this guy put it you know there, there's really no better words for it but we did find get the official word um, from PGL. They said all PGL CS2 major Copenhagen 2024 teams were required to be in Denmark by March 14th. Despite multiple extended deadlines, nine pandas could only line up three eligible players today. As a result, PGL has replaced them with Gamer Legion for the tournament. Uh, and then we also had uh, Counter-Strike obviously chiming in saying pick them players who pick nine pandas have had those picks replaced with Gamer Legion. So uh, I guess one thing from this whole thing is if you uh, did the pick -ems and you had nine pandas in any of those slots you might want to go update things you might want to go change things and even if not maybe you think gamer legion's better worse going to perform better worse maybe they're your zero and three team maybe they're a three and two team now who knows whatever go update your pickums uh or just understand that uh gamer legion is just going to be straight up replaced with nine pandas uh in those pickums in those slots which i guess makes sense or whatever but that also gets us uh, to the crazy part, which of course means we now have Gamer Legion stickers uh, in CS2, but not quite because again, what is very, very strange is that these stickers are still not out um, as many people are pointing out. I believe I have a couple tweets here. Uh, first match of PGL Major starts in less than 22 hours and we still uh, do not have sticker capsules released. And then fast forward a little bit further right now, still no stickers, but the first CS2 Major starts in less than two hours. So again, these stickers have not officially released. We don't have the capsules we don't have the stickers we don't have anything like that but in the game files we do have the gamer legion stickers and here is actually what those look like um here is the gamer legion paper with the copenhagen 2024 pgl at the bottom obviously um and i know people kind of have mixed opinions about the pgl stickers in general um i don't really like them i know a lot of people don't really seem to be liking them that much i do still think that it is the worst of the modern borderless sticker sets i would rather have uh stockholm would rather have antwerp would rather have paris at this point um but one thing I do like, and I don't know if I like it, but the Copenhagen 2024, I like how it is centered at the bottom because I do think that Stockholm, Antwerp, and Paris kind of look weird, the text on that. And I don't really know if this looks better or worse because it's just kind of bigger and, and weirder and more awkward in some ways. And the, the wavy lines is kind of weird, um, but it is centered. It is in the middle. So I, I don't know how I feel about the text. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. You're just more worried about the border of the stickers. But um, there's the Gamer Legion uh, paper. We have the Gamer Legion glitter, which I actually do think looks pretty cool. Um, we have the 
the Gamer Legion Hollow, which I actually think looks pretty decent too. I do think that this Gamer Legion sticker becomes um, one of the better looking Copenhagen stickers already so far. But again, I don't like the look of the Copenhagen stickers in general, especially the Hollows. But of the Copenhagen Hollows, I do think the Gamer Legion is one of the better looking ones. But again, the disappointing and frustrating part is that we just got a Gamer Legion Borderless sticker in the Paris set less than a year ago this was 10 months ago when the paris set came out and obviously the gamer legion uh, logo is just a g and an l nothing has really changed you uh, a g and an l sticker yeah it looks a little bit different it looks a little bit the hollow effect is different and, and it's not exactly the same but it's pretty much the same and again with how much paris sold the paris supply numbers were absolutely insane we have so many Gamer Legion stickers on the market from just 10 months ago. Did we really need a new Gamer Legion sticker borderless that looks exactly the same 10 months later? I don't think so, and I think many other people don't think so, and that's my issue and a lot of other people's issue with this Copenhagen set is that um, not only have we had so many borderless stickers over the past couple of years, Paris also sold in so many quantities, so it's like we didn't have a shortage of so many of these borderless stickers already, but um, again, this is what the Gamer Legion uh, Hollow does look like, and then there's the Gamer Legion Gold as well well um now obviously um what we have found here is that the nine panda stickers have been deleted or replaced or whatever you want to call it and the gamer legion stickers have been added it's jover according to osney um you know he here he has in the files um the fact that in the red you have the minus you have the nine pandas uh paper glitter hollow and gold and then in the plus in the green you have the gamer legion uh paper glitter hollow and gold so again it does seem official that the uh nine panda sticker will not be in the game in any capacity uh it's still in the files and stuff like that it hasn't been deleted from the files it just has uh, kind of been removed from uh, places where you can use it I know that the old uh, they're saying the old nine pandas inspect links now just kind of uh, even forward you to the gamer legion stuff so um, I don't even know if there's a way to look at the nine panda stuff anymore but apparently it is still in the files um, I know they were kind of arguing about semantics and stuff in the chat uh, Thor said no stickers were deleted just strings were placed and gamer legion stickers were added uh, which you know they just kind of go back and forth and again yes they got replaced not deleted which was funny just kind of like a nerd moment or whatever um, but yes, this does seem official. I also thought this was funny as well. Um, this Sinclair guy, uh, he says, hey guys, it's my first day working for Valve. And again, you can see here he is in MS Paint. He removes the Paris logo. He adds in the Copenhagen logo. Oh, well, and we right. have the exact Thanks same uh, Gamer Legion sticker there, which uh, is obviously a meme. He's obviously messing around, but it's not too far off from the truth. Um, also, rest in peace to all the Nine Panda stickers and the Nine Panda theory crafts and the potential crafts of people being made. Again, the Nine Panda sticker actually did look pretty cool. Again, you throw it on like the bamboo uh, type skins you throw it on some green skins and some of this stuff looked very very cool i really like um the nine panda stickers on like the hydroponic and stuff like that as well um, but these are crafts and stickers that we will never get which i do think is pretty disappointing because again not only um, is the copenhagen set now missing out on a unique borderless sticker in nine pandas it's also getting replaced with a non-unique borderless sticker in gamer legion this also makes the paris collection worse um, now that gamer legion has two borderless stickers out there um, so it's bad for paris bad for copenhagen i think bad for investors bad for um not even investors, but people who collect, people who craft. It's just bad in so many ways. Um, and of course, it's bad for the teams as well, because at the end of the day, nine pandas did qualify for this major. They did earn this. They do deserve it. And Gamer Legion did not qualify for this major. They did not earn it. They do not deserve it, other than the fact that they are able to um, get their visa issue sorted out um, when uh, nine pandas was not. So, you know, while um, Gamer Legion did worse uh, on the game, you know, an in game, they did better out of game, I, I guess, in a weird way. And does that mean they deserve? more i don't i don't know i don't think so um and i know that there was just so many people out there um saying that uh what we're here so so some of the discussion this is the last thing i want to talk about in this video so much of the discussion was about um should nine pandas get to keep their sticker um should in the capsule um where gamer legion is going to be replacing nine pandas should they just keep the nine panda sticker in there and some people were saying it's a little bit more complicated than that this is jason lake uh, from complexity chiming in i believe jason lake no not jason lake uh, the general manager for complexity chiming in um saying it's not just simple as adding them people were saying hey nine pandas stickers should just get to stay they earned it they still deserve the money they still deserve this whatever and this guy said it's not just as simple as adding them um, first issue is that there are seven other teams who want to share their cut of the sticker revenue with two teams instead of one again if you added nine pandas and gamer legion into um, the capsule there would then be nine teams so they would have to split the revenue uh, nine ways instead of eight ways um, solution to that would be that nine pandas and gamer legion both get a half cut however that doesn't solve a few other issues caused by doing this namely that reducing the quantity of each team's sticker within the capsule makes them rare this could be fixed by having nine pandas in gamer legion at a 0.5 appearance rate but that still means the stickers are rare if the above happens it could skew the value of the capsule due to the rarity of the items inside and again 
I don't think that skewing the value of the capsule due to the rarity items inside would matter that much. I don't think that'd be that big of an issue. I think this guy just really wants to play devil's advocate and wants to, um, you know, go down the line and down the line and down the line. I think a lot of these issues are very solvable or negligible or not that big of a deal at the end of the day. I do understand them not wanting to split the revenue nine ways uh, instead of eight ways. That makes a lot of sense. But also, um, the other option is nine pandas just completely getting fucked. But I do think that them getting a half cut and getting at half appearance rate could be a, a, a nice issue as well, but also one resolution that not, not many people are talking about, I don't think, is, hey, why is Gamer Legion getting a sticker at all? Why is Gamer Legion getting the sticker and the revenue and all this stuff for a tournament they didn't qualify for? I think one option was that, hey, nine pandas should just have been allowed to get stand-in players or whatever, or the fact that nine pandas should just get to keep their sticker and Gamer Legion shouldn't get a sticker. Why should Gamer Legion get all these millions of dollars for a tournament that they didn't qualify for? Uh, and why should nine pandas be missing out uh, on this money? Now, obviously, I know it would be weird. A team that's at the major doesn't have stickers and a team that isn't at the major does have stickers. But it's also weird that a team that qualified for the major is not getting stickers while a team that did not qualify for the major is getting stickers and all these millions of dollars and stuff like that. So I don't know. Again, at the end of the day, there are definitely issues with every single solution. Um, this solution where Gamer Legion just gets their sticker and their millions of dollars or something they didn't earn and Nine Pandas ends up, uh, you know, with absolutely nothing and gets devastated. That doesn't feel great either. You know, this guy wants to talk about how uh, these solutions have issues. Well, the solution we came up with right now has issues. So why is this one okay? Um, but it does seem like ultimately at the end of the day, it is what Valve has decided to go with, um, which is pretty disappointing. Obviously, feels terrible for Nine Pandas. They're missing out in so many different ways. Uh, and it is really, really uh, just a big kind of oof moment. Um, and I don't think it's fair. I do think it is truly sad and devastating and unfair at the end of the day. Um, but what are you going to do? Obviously, uh, it sucks that they couldn't get those visa issues settled out. Um, but but hey, whatever, we got to move on. Again, this major is starting in just a couple of hours. Uh, things are about to get crazy. Uh, and maybe these stickers are going to get released eventually. Who knows? Again, we are just hours away from the major right now. And we still do not have any officially released stickers or capsules or anything like that. Um, definitely feels like a big missed out moment. And I know Thor... He said this as well. Um, first match of the PGL starts in less than 22 hours, and we still have not had the sticker capsules released. If one of the teams is having issues, it shouldn't make other teams suffer. Teams players make profit on the number of capsules Valve sell in-game. If on average 1 million capsules are sold a day, that would have been 500k to teams and players per day. If stickers were released 7 days ago, that amount would have been 3.5 million. He said he's taking a rough number of capsules sold. 50% goes to teams, 50% goes to players. Um, and then Exerpa said, quick reminder, the capsules go on sale after each major. Leave them for an extra week in the sale and they'll get all that money back. He says that's true, but doesn't seem like a properly scheduled update. Uh, and then he said, okay, but almost no one is buying capsules before the sale and then Thor says according to the data for the Paris major roughly 16 million sticker capsules were unboxed in May itself um, so again it does seem like teams revenues the tournament organizers players everyone is really missing out on some revenue right now by valve not having their shit together and not having this sticker um, thing sorted out and released just yet and again I get they're having issues with nine pandas and game religion or whatever but that doesn't mean they couldn't already have released the stickers um, with nine pandas and then figured out the game religion stuff later uh, and maybe gave in not there's even another option option they could have already had the stickers released gave nine pandas some of the revenue for like the first couple of days of sales and then removed them and then put game religion in and then started paying them i don't know there's a million things going on right now but just not having the stickers released um by the time the tournament starts seems like uh, a, a pretty sloppy uh way of sorting this whole thing out i don't know but whatever pretty much it was video today guys hopefully I catch you in the next one until then peace